Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So, today, guys, we're doing our UEFA Euro 2024 qualifier playoff predictions. So, we're going to be predicting the final games of the Euros. And the, the three winners go directly into the Euros, man. And obviously, the three losers don't make the Euros. It's as simple as that. We just had the semifinals took place last Thursday. And the final will, of course, take place on Tuesday. And remember, guys, after the final, guys, I will be doing a live reaction. I will be doing a live reaction um, to the games. So, We'll be doing all a reaction to the entire international break compare and discuss about all competitive games. So please remember to like and subscribe. Anyways, without further ado, let's go and get started. So path A we got here is Wales versus Poland. Wales and Poland both won their games convincingly by convincing score lines. And I think the interesting thing for this final is for Wales, man, are they gonna step up? Because Wales, we know how good they are at home. They're the that home atmosphere they have is unbelievable. You know, the players they got on this team is unbelievable as well. Brennan Johnson, Nico Williams. You know, David Brooks, Dan James. And I look at Poland. I'm sorry to say, guys, Poland is just mediocre. Poland is mediocre. And even though they destroyed Estonia, Estonia is terrible. They're one of the worst nations in Europe, you know. And I just think for Poland in particular, I just think Robert Lewandowski is just that guy. He is so crucial to this team when it comes to goal scoring, playmaking ability. And I know there's other players to look out for for this team. I know there's Zelensky, Frankowski, Samaski as well. I know there's other players. But for me, Lewandowski is just that guy, you know. And I just think that for me, Wales is going to be very defensive. We know how Wales, they're not, they're usually a team that's not very, usually a team that's more of a, um, a, a team that's pretty solid defensively. And when you look at Wales and the, the nation, the UEFA qualifiers, they actually did pretty well. There was That was one of the most difficult groups. You had Croatia and, um, you know, Turkey in the group. Whereas Poland, with all due respect, they had Czech Republic, Albania, and Moldova. That is far easier on paper compared to Wales. Now, to be fair, Albania did prove a lot of people wrong. They surprised a lot of people by topping the group. Uh, but still, like, finishing behind Czech Republic. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Czech Republic is probably underrated. But still, like, I, I you, you would expect so much more from Poland, especially for a team that made it to the World Cup, you know? So how do I feel about this one, guys? This will be a very interesting one. Um, and obviously, both nations were there in the last Euros, and now one of them is going to make it. One of them is not going to make the Euros. Between Wales and Poland, who I think it is, I'm going to go with Wales. I just think Wales for made their home atmosphere is insane. They've only lost three games at home in the last few years. Two of which came in the Nations League against Netherlands and Poland. Um, and the other one came against Armenia in the World Cup qualifiers. And, uh, sorry, Euro qualifiers. And remember, keep in mind though, guys. Those two games, they played their B team because they were prioritized in the World Cup qualifiers against Ukraine. So keep that in the back of your head. But yeah, I'm going to go Wales to triumph. I'm going to say maybe like a 2-1. 1-0 win for Wales, something like that. It's going to be a close game. Next up it is Path B. We got here is Israel, Iceland, and Bosnia, Ukraine. So both teams, both the winning teams actually had to come from behind in the respective games. And I just think that for the interesting thing was this one is how will Ukraine respond? Like, let's say Ukraine goes a goal down against Iceland. Will they be able to come back? And I certainly think so because I look at this Ukraine team. This is a team of so solid. Dobrik, Yarminchuk, Modric, Zinchenko. This team has so much talent. And they also have Luna in goal as well. We know he's been solved for Real Madrid this season. And I just see Ukraine for me. Look what they did the, the Euro qualifiers. They're able to hold England and Italy out to draws. Whereas for Iceland, this team isn't the same. And they they have massively regressed ever since 2018 World Cup. They haven't been the same. A lot of the key players are not even there anymore. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail why they're not there. Um, it's for um, non-football really reasons. And I just think for Iceland, they have regressed. I just think they regressed. And now people are going to say, oh, look, they defeated Iceland, Israel convincingly. How can you say they didn't? But we have to keep in context that Iceland weren't really dominating Israel. It's just that Israel weren't clinical, you know, and they missed that penalty. Because if Israel had scored that penalty to make a 2 all, we could have had a very different game, you know. And the Iceland on the other end capitalized upon their chances, and that's how it became 4-1. So those two goals, as you can see, were scored the 83rd, 87th minute. So... For me, this is a tough one to call, but I think Ukraine should do this. I think Ukraine should do this. I'm going to say Ukraine wins us 3-1. And the final, the last game we got here, it is Georgia versus Greece. Georgia, man, they took care of business against Luxembourg. And Luxembourg were even down to 10 men. And also, remember, guys, Georgia did this without Kavatskalia. Greece, on the hand, they obliterate Kazakhstan uh, convincingly. And even though Georgia's at home for this game, and even though Kavatskalia will be back for suspension, I just think, for me, Greece is just too good. I mean, look at the fact they destroyed Kazakhstan. Now, I do think Georgia is better than Kazakhstan, so I do think um, Georgia will give them a much more difficult game. But still, Greece is just... The striker options they have is unbelievable. You know, look at the look at the players they have. You have Giocamas, you know, Pavadilis as well. You know, then you got 
to other players as well. And I just think for Georgia, man, I just I just think this is going to be too hard for them. I do think it'll be a close game. I don't think this will be one-sided, but I just think Greece have too much quality. I'm going to say Greece wins. I'll say like a 1-0 win for Greece, maybe even 2-0. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Your predictions as well. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.